The presentation this morning is divided into three different parts. First of all, we'll look at what IntelliWeb Search actually is. Then we'll look at its basic features. And then we'll uh, look at how IntelliWeb Search knows <clears throat> exactly which searches I want to do, because obviously we want to set it up to do the searches in our language combination. This is the uh, second, let's call it, episode in this series of three. Uh, about IntelliWeb Search 5, almost unlimited. And this morning I want to talk to you about specific search techniques. Okay, basically um, I want to look at with you at some examples of things that uh, translators often have to do uh, during their working day, um, and that is on the internet obviously, uh, and that is looking for online dictionaries, which may be mono or bilingual dictionaries, Parallel texts, by which I mean multilingual sites like the, uh, the big uh, European Union sites or, or um, other large corporations. Obviously, sometimes we simply have to solve uh, a problem regarding a single term. Very often we have problems with abbreviations and acronyms. Sometimes we have to find um, the accepted translations for quotations or the titles of books, films and plays. And obviously sometimes we have to try to find equivalents or at least the meaning of uh, idiomatic expressions and, and what I call boilerplate, which we'll, I'll explain a bit more uh, as we come to it. Um, I think you might agree that these are the most common problems which we uh, normally face and which we try to use the internet to solve. Um, I'll take them one at a time and we'll have a look at different techniques and then I'll explain how we can at least semi-automate those techniques with IntelliWeb Search. This is the third episode in the uh, IntelliWeb Search uh, webinar series, the course, and this is where we really get to the, the more difficult stuff. So especially towards the end of this hour, I'll be doing some, um, we'll be looking at some very advanced settings. Um, don't worry too much if it doesn't make perfect sense to you immediately. I think the important thing is that you realize that these options exist. And when you maybe one day actually need them, you might suddenly sort of remember, you might hear a little bell in the back of your mind saying, yes, there was an option for something similar. And then maybe you can go and, uh, and check it and find out exactly how to set it if you can't remember. Anyway, let's start immediately. This is the tweaking and other features episode. We'll be looking at details view, uh, a new feature, very recent new feature for interpreters, list mode, data obfuscation, local dictionaries. I'll show you how to set up IntelliWeb Search to access a dictionary on your hard drive and not on the internet. Localize as you go, IntelliCopy plain text, and then we look for most of this uh, um, webinar, in fact, at the different search settings that could be tweaked and different programming program settings that we can uh, have a look at. 